Let's connect our Elgato Wave 3 to our Sony ZV-E10 or any Sony Alpha Series camera. The first thing we want to do is take our Elgato Wave 3 and plug it into a source of power. For this example, I will use my computer, plug in the USB-C, and you'll see that the Elgato Wave 3 powers on instantly. For now, I'm going to mute the audio by tapping the top of the mic. See how the button turns red? That means it is now muted. Next, we're going to connect our Elgato Wave 3 to our Sony Alpha Series camera. On your camera, you're going to look for the microphone latch. Not to be confused with the regular latch that houses the headphone area. The microphone latch has a different 3.5 millimeter port that is actually red and allows you to receive audio in via monitoring. Once we find that port, grab a 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter wire, plug one end into your Sony Alpha Series camera and plug the other end into your Elgato Wave 3 3.5 millimeter port. Now that our devices are connected together, you only need a few more steps to record with incredible audio. First, power on your Sony Alpha Series camera. Once powered on, you're gonna to wanna to navigate into the menu and go into your camera recording menu. For me, it's camera two. In here, I'm going to go to the third page on this menu and find the audio recording level icon. Hit enter. Here you're going to see that we are recording audio, but as you can see down here, I'm speaking and nothing is being captured. This is for a couple of reasons. One, the next step is to, of course, unmute your Elgato microphone. Once unmuted, tell your microphone to go to the camera channel. You'll do this by hitting this button here until you reach the mixer icon at the very end. Once you're at the mixer icon, you can change this to channel one. As I change it to channel one, see how the audio starts to get picked up at the camera down here. So let's switch it. Now you'll see the green bars light up because it's picking up the audio from the microphone. At this point, your mic is on channel one and your camera is receiving that audio. You see how we are reaching the red? The next step would be to hit this button again, go into the mic volume and adjust it as you need. You can also go into the headphone volume and adjust this as your camera is monitoring the audio from the microphone. So this along with the mic volume will help adjust to the proper sound levels that you need. I'm gonna go up one more and this is in the headphone area. So let's go up one more and see how the audio has changed. I'm now getting a bigger green spike, but I'm not quite reaching the red. After this, personally, I would do one or two test recordings of about 25 seconds each, just to test the audio levels and adjust as I need. But aside from that, your Sony Alpha Series camera is now connected to your USB-C Elgato Wave 3 microphone. And that is how you connect a USB-C or a USB microphone to a DSLR camera. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. If you did, like, subscribe, and comment below what you want to learn next. I'll see you next time.